Sorry. <laughs> I... What can I, I do you for, Tony? I wanted to ask you a question. Mm-hmm. What am I about to say? <laughs> I don't know, Tony. What are you about to say? You know, what do I always say when I'm about to ask a question? <laughs> no one expects the Spanish Inquisition. Sorry, Tony. I... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no you, you probably didn't watch it because you're all wicked smart and beautiful and stuff. You're building a quantum computer. Yeah, well, I'm trying to get the pieces working that we need. Qubits? Uh-huh. They're like the ones and zeros of a normal computer, but more powerful. I've been reading up in Nielsen and Schwang. They can be both one and zero at the same time. Their state spaces spanned by the generators of the two-dimensional special unitary Lie algebra. Well, in, in the lab, they look like this. But... Could you use them to measure h-bar? Um, I suppose so. I mean, we do monitor their dynamics and Ceteris Paribus. It would be possible to extrapolate h-bar from those data. Humongous. I mean, there's a theory that the quantization parameter h-bar could have changed its value in the past. The telescope guy is making some fuss about some recent observations. And I think, it's just a theory, but I think h-bar could change again. I mean, if you got a sufficient quantity of the right dark matter, you could build a, a device, a weapon, but, I guess. But, but, I guess. H, but h bar is the core of quantum physics. I mean, it's, it's a cosmic number. You, it's like trying to change the value of pi or something. It's... Have you ever tried to measure pi living on a football? Um... <laughs> well, thanks, Alice. If you get any data you could use to measure this cosmic number, just shush me. Tony, I can't shush you. I don't have your IP. FTP me? Well, if you send me your Mac, I can ping you the ASCII. Ping me? Tony, I'll just, I'll just send you the files. OK, cool. You and me, same wavelength. <laughs> the question is, where do we go from here? Well, if you can achieve the milestones laid out in the crap work package for preparation and... I'm sorry, is that Q-A-P pronounced crap? Yes, the Qubit Applications Initiative will distribute funds You and... called it the crap initiative? Professor Kleinpickle, I must confess I fail to understand the source of your amusement. Perhaps my pronunciation is at fault? No, no. Uh... The situation is quite simple. There are EC funds available for developing qubits into a device, providing they can be produced reliably. This kind of market, as you know, is highly competitive, and I would hate to see you left out in the proverbial cold. We can produce those qubits. Excellent. We will see each other again at the review. I don't understand it. The phase lock is running. Yes, and I'm double passing the SHG, so the gate pulse is self So, So you're using a hard sequence to probe? Yes, David. But the hard sequence hardly lasts out a single rephasing. So lock to the zone centre doublet and repump. You'll eliminate the loss power shift that way. I've tried that, David. You will try it again, for Christ's sake! Try it again, I... Ugh. Thanks.
<laughs> With a taxi. <laughs> Very good, very good. Your baby humor is worth a nugget. Always welcome. That's not a miracle. Come on, Professor, we're closing up. But I buy the rules. That's not allowed. Well, we'll be on the windy side if you stay here. It's a sling your rock. Break the laws. Broken. That's, that's... Beautiful, isn't it? But quite lethal. <laughs> the Gro Jim breaks the sternum, and the Gro Lamb stabs the heart with it. Actually, I'd better get back to the office, Tony. Well, uh, actually, I I'm glad I caught you. Uh, I finished analysing those qubit spectra, and there's some interesting features in the data uh, which seem to indicate that my theory about H bar varying might be correct. And this is averaged over all five of your qubits. You derive this estimate from the doublet splitting? Uh, actually, there's an anti-crossing at uh, the cavity resonance is about 4 EV, so these values are calculated from the convo factor. Uh, that's a more direct method. This is incredible, Tony. Fluctuations this large would kill the interference. Have you spoken about this to David? Uh, actually, I haven't seen the prof at all this month. No, not since... Not for ages. <laughs> Ah, oh, excuse me. Do you know where you're going? I'm from the Nature Publishing Group. We're here to do a feature on quantum computation at Oxford University. I'm afraid you're going to have to make an appointment. Um, where did you say you're from? I'm from the Nature Publishing Group. We're planning to do a feature on quantum computation at Oxford University. Ah, one moment. Hello? Can I speak to somebody in your group about quantum physics? Okay, thank you very much. You'll send somebody down. Thank you. Would you mind waiting for me? Certainly. And somebody will come and talk to you. Thank you for your help. Thank you. 